Now I'm talking to two politicians from a uh, liberal party in Europe. Henrik, you are um, running for national parliament in Finland for a Swedish party. And Julia, you just won a election campaign in the local elections in Lithuania. Julia, maybe you first, um, how difficult was it to campaign? Actually, I w was working hard three months before, but uh, I'm working in that municipality where I became a deputy uh, six years with you. And I supposed that uh, the biggest like a challenge to me that you should vote, and you've voted. But I was work hard, energy, new like uh, new ideas for the campaign. It helped me for sure, and my youth, youth who went to vote for me. Actually, I was the first in the list <laughs> and the leader of a party in that uh, in that uh, district. That was also like a priority to me, yeah, to to vote for me. But uh, youth knew me, and they actually, as I said, they helped me. They went to vote, vote for the leader. Yeah. And uh, you're just in the middle of the preparations for uh, the elections in Finland. You're also running for a uh, Swedish. Um, People's Party, yes. People's Party, yeah, for a minority in, in Finland. Uh, how do you see um, the problematics of being young and involved in politics and running? And actually, you want to win, right? Yes, I want to win, of course. As Julia said, so I think it's like the same issue in each European country, also in Finland, even though we are like a Western democratic country. Uh, it's really hard, first of all, to get uh, young people involved in the process and talk about politics and then it's hard to empower them to be be in the campaign and talk about politics who should you vote it's really hard to get young people to vote and especially when you're when I'm a young candidate I need to focus on the young people in in my region it will be tough to get them to vote for one because mm -hmm. also the, uh, there's a lot of other young candidates too in the same region so it's really tough and and mostly so in Finland unfortunately it's like the the celebrities who, who sometimes will also be elected, even though they have like, uh, they haven't did any kind of political career, and that's also a bit sad for the democracy. Mm -hmm. Amongst the youth delegates, there was just a debate: how uh, much credibility do you get for only being young? Does it mean that young uh, politicians represent the youth? I feel that I don't just represent the youth. I represent all the people, like. In Finland, I represent all the people uh, in Finland on the regional level, all from my region, and in the municipal level, all from my hometown. Okay, but he here in this Congress, so then we represent the, the young people from everywhere in Europe. When you're a politician, you can't say on stage that you are presenting just young people. You're presenting from 18 to, you know, because you know all the problems. You have to know how to solve and have your plan how you will solve and present it to a majority of the people. You can state. Actually, you can state and suppose that just young people will go to vote. Actually, many other people went to vote, but I said that the majority for me, young people voted. That helped. But problems, you know, all problems, you know, and you know, and present in your program all problems. But actually, like priority for young folks, empowering. Julia, you will also be deputy mayor in your municipality. What is the biggest challenge at the moment for your political activities? The uh, biggest challenge is, you know, as it said, not experience, so experience in politician. Because, yeah, I know the problems, I have a plan. But how will be going to work with the board members from the other parties when you're in opposition? I'm in opposition and the the majority is like from the uh, Polish and uh, Russian parties, and I'm from liberal opposition. It's uh, quite hard to present your project and to uh, tell them that they are good project and vote for them. That's hard. Uh, Henrik, you are running for a minority group, the Swedes in Finland. How difficult do you think will it be in Parliament to to fight for minority rights? right now so i have to unfortunately say it's quite difficult because we have it's actually just some weeks ago we talked about for example that should the finnish finnish speaking uh, students learn swedish in the school and it's a lot of unfortunately there is a lot of all these kind of 
racism when it comes to the political mm -hmm. debate, and that's really sad, especially when I represent also a minority. And even though my mother speaks Finnish, so I can the both language. Like it's it's yes, it's, it's the same. So we will, they will still criticize us for it, and it's really sad to hear that discussion. The majority of the parliament, but they don't understand that we need our law for minorities. They don't understand at all our problems. But we speak at home in our language. We have another culture and want to power that uh, culture. We want to, uh, to have it. Uh, all parliament majority, we don't understand. But we need law yes, and right. we need to, to like uh, be with that people from minority. They also have their law, have their cultural rules, uh, language. So we are representative with Henrik when minorities and Polish minority representative and his. Swedish, yes. Thank you. Thank you.